Hey guys, it's Ashley, and this video was requested by a few people, just basically my tips on how I got Kai to use her potty, because she's not 100% potty trained, so I don't want to say my tips on potty training, but I guess tips towards working towards potty training. Um, but basically, as a little disclaimer, I do want to say that all babies are different. I didn't research this, I didn't look up tips, I didn't do anything. It's just what worked for me and what I tried, so hopefully it works for you, but if not, all babies are different. So... Basically, I guess I'll start with how, sorry, I'm looking at my notes, um, with what I did with Kai. So basically, she just seemed like super into um, the bathroom. Like, she was really into it. She always crawled into there, always messed with stuff in there. Like, she would look at the toilet. She would, like, touch it. I think she liked the noise it made when she hit it. So she was just kind of super into the toilet. So I just decided one day to pull out her potty and stick her on there and see what she did. And she ended up liking it like she didn't pee the first time I stuck her on there but she did like it she kind of sat on there she messed with it tried to figure it out she liked opening and closing the lid just she just found it so interesting so I just kind of kept sticking her on there and being patient and eventually she pottied so basically um that was kind of how it was for me it was super simple to get her to go to the potty and these are just kind of the signs that I noticed with her that she was ready to use her potty and basically the main one is that they can sit up by themselves. I've been told this one by doctors and it's kind of a big one. Like you don't want to potty train them when they can't sit up because of course they're going to fall off the potty. So when I could tell that she could easily sit up on her own and she has great balance sitting on things higher than her butt is when I was like, okay, she can kind of sit on the potty. Also, um, if she showed interest in the potty, that's another sign. If they show interest in it, then normally they're kind of ready or willing to learn. Um, I heard that if they don't show interest in it, it's going to be a lot more difficult and to wait. Like with my little cousin, when they were trying to potty train her, she wasn't interested, didn't care about it, and it was super hard for my older cousin to try to potty train her daughter. Um, also, if they acknowledge that they're going to the bathroom, like with Kai, when she has to go to the bathroom, she'll stop what she's doing and go to the bathroom in her diaper, and then, you know, she continues to play. So if they do all those three things, then typically they're really ready to use the bathroom. And I've just kind of heard these other things from other moms and my parents and the people in my family. So they kind of are really reliable <laughs> signs because we have a lot of people in our family. So they've all gone through it. And that's just kind of what I stuck with for mine. Um, so basically, if they show those three things, you kind of have to give it a try. I just say stick them on there. That's all I did with Kai. I just stuck her on there and let her do her own thing. Like I didn't force it or anything. So basically, sorry, my tips are set a schedule when you put them on the potty. Like normally what I would do, like how I started with Kai, is I took note of like her normal schedule of when she would go to the bathroom. Like if she went when she first woke up or after naps or after an hour of waking up, whatever your child's schedule is, I say stick with that. Unless they don't have one, then you create one for them. That kind of works best for like the schedule that you have going with them now. Um, so as far as Kai's schedule, she goes to the bathroom shortly after she wakes up from both bedtime and nap time. Um... She usually goes to the bathroom again shortly after she's eaten. And then throughout the day, it's kind of random. But it's usually within a, between a couple of hours after she's already gone. So that's just what I do. And every time I feel like it's getting close or if she stops what she's doing, looks like she's really making her potty face like most kids have, then I'll stick her on her potty. If she doesn't go, then she doesn't go. But at least she knows. If she starts to learn, okay, I have to potty, so I'm going to come in here. Um, also, stick with the schedule as much as possible. I mean, I know there's sometimes where... People are, I mean, where I'm out and I'm like, oh my God, I know Kai has to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to run into a bathroom and hold her over the big toilet, which is because that's just gross that you can't do it. So I do try to stick with her schedule as much as possible. If I'm home, then of course I'm going to stick her on her potty. I'm not going to just be like, oh, pee in your diaper or whatever, because I really want her potty trained by one. So I definitely say stick with the schedule as much as possible because it reinforces that into their brain that, okay, this time I'm going to go pee at this time. And it just makes it that much easier, especially if your kid's already walking or close to walking. You can kind of walk them in there and then it becomes something they can do on their own. Um, another tip is be patient. For me, it's like, well, being patient for me with Kai is a lot easier because she was way younger than most people potty train their kids. She started going to the bathroom in her potty at nine months. So being patient was really easy because I didn't think she was going to do it. So I just wanted to like give it a try, see how it worked out, and she did it. So just being patient with them is the big thing because it's something new to them. It could be scary. So work with them. Be patient. <laughs> um, don't force it. That is like a big thing because I noticed when I try to like 
force Kai to go to the bathroom. Like, if I just keep sitting her on the potty when she tries to get off or trying to make her go, she doesn't like it. Kind of creeps her out. She gets upset. She's crying. She gets really clingy to me. And she doesn't want anything to do with it. So don't force it. If they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. Tell them, you know, good job sitting on your potty or, you know, something they enjoy hearing. Um, just to kind of get them to understand they did a good job, but there could be more. So, like, if Kai just doesn't want to go to the bathroom and she keeps getting up, I'll say, no, go potty, like in a sweet voice, but I keep letting her know, like, potty, you're supposed to go potty in here <laughs> type of thing. So I let her know it's okay that she didn't go, and we're going to keep trying, basically. Um, I always, always, always praise Kai, even if she doesn't go to the bathroom, just to let her know she's doing a good job as far as sitting on it and not being afraid of it. Because, I mean, a lot of kids are motivated by praise and, you know, pleasing their parents. So if they feel they're doing a good job, they're going to be more willing and receptive to go back to that bathroom and sit on the potty again. Um, so like I said, I always just tell her like, oh, good job. You sat on your potty. And then when she actually uses her potty, I am like over the top excited. I'm clapping my hands. I'm like, yay. And we'll run and tell like her dad if he's in the house doing something or her grandparents if they're home and we'll clap and we're super excited and I give her tons of love and kisses and we play and you know, I just get super excited. Like I'm over the top excited. And, um, she just she loves it like she loves it it's the best thing to her and as far as um praising goes i say do whatever works for you praise wise so i know like um some babies have like special little baby snacky treats that they don't get often give them one of those if they do go to the bathroom or make up a song for them when they do go or if they're older let them flush the pee themselves because she's super interested and when the toilet flushes like she just stares at it forever and she'll like look around for the noise is coming from so when you praise them try to give them a little something extra than just the normal oh good job because it makes it that much more fun and they're like oh my gosh look at how excited they are and they get excited about it and it just makes it that much more fun um which is my next one make it fun don't make it a task. Make it something that they want to do and something they'll enjoy doing. I know sometimes Kai just isn't in the mood. Like when she first wakes up, she's really clingy to me and grumpy. And I'll have to stick her on the potty because I know she has to go. And sometimes she just doesn't want to. Sometimes sometimes um, I have to give her something to make her stay on her potty or make her like be comfortable. So I'll give her her little stuffed animals that she has that she's really clingy to to hold while she goes to the bathroom. I'll give her her pacifier, um, other little toys that she can hold easily in her hands that don't take up too much space and that she won't pee on just to kind of keep her happy. So I make it fun. So whatever your children find fun, I say include that in potty time if it doesn't if it's not too distracting. And another one is or my last one basically is use the word the word that you want to associate with them going to the bathroom often, especially if they're young because, you know, they don't understand what we're saying, but it'll become an associative, 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 whatever. It'll be a word they associate with going to the bathroom. So like with Kai, I'll say potty a lot um, or pee pee. I kind of go between the two as just a general word for her going to the bathroom in her potty. So I'm like, hi, you have to go potty. We go potty. And then while she's on it, I say it often, like just it talking to her while she's sitting on the toilet, anything, just I keep using that word. So she hears it. And also I like to associate a sound with it because you know, they're well for Kai, she's only 10 months. So she's still in like the blah, 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 baby talk. I'm trying to form word phase. So sounds really help um, with them because they understand sounds. They can identify with sounds more so than words. So um, for her, I make the pee sound like a psh noise or I'll cut the water on, which tends to help sometimes. So Kai, you go potty and then I'll make the pee sound or I'll cut the water on. So definitely giving it words or sounds to associate with it for the child to understand really helps. Um, basically for me, that's all my tips that I have. That's all I did with Kai. She really picked it up. She enjoys going to the bathroom. So hopefully they help for you. I do know that there are tons of sites online where you can look up tips and stuff. Um, just to make it fun. So, I mean, those are my big things. Don't force it. Make it fun. Give tons of praise. And be patient are the big ones. Hopefully this video helped. Um, and if you guys have any more questions, then just ask them below. And I'll see you guys in my next video or update or vlog or whatever. Bye.